the idols in the land. We have to understand the world that we live in, that there are false prophets that are running around. See, you find out that they will give you information that sounds good to your ear, and then you want to go trickling after them. Well, God just want to say he's going to cut those out. So if you don't want to be cut out, then you better have an ear to hear who God is in your life and not go according to what the false prophets are saying. Don't get fooled now because they are out there. So make sure you have your word in you so you know who God is to you. So in verse number three, we come to find out that they're speaking and preaching about the doctrine of who the gods are. And, and see, back in this time, it was actually talking about rebuilding the temple. See, the people had got a little bit dissuaded about what had happened in their lives. And they were supposed to have been building a temple for God. Well, see, there is a principle behind that because when we are doing things for God, sometimes we're saying, God, I cannot continue in this race. Well, I must be by myself this morning because there are some times when I get tired, sometimes when I get weak, and I say, God, I can't keep going on. And God begins to start talking with us and talking with me and say there's still work to do. So, see, that's what he was trying to tell the children in Israel. There's still work to do. I know that the people that you are surrounded, and that's why they say you got to watch who you get connected to. Because when you get connected to the wrong people, they bring you down, and you can't finish the work that God has called you to do. 